Hello everybody, this is Boaz Fala and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for February 9th, 2016. So, we begin our day, if you're in Central Europe, with a moon that is void of course in Aquarius. It's going into Pisces at around 9.30 a.m. If you are in the United States, you'll be waking up to that moon in Pisces already. And once the moon moves into Pisces, it will begin conjuncting to Ceres, and after that to Neptune. This is a very special day with some very special energies. You know, Ceres is the goddess of abundance, it's the goddess of nature, it's the goddess of wheat, of grain, of fruit, it is Mother Earth. So in a sense, when, when we see Ceres in the uh, Greek mythology, we can identify her with the goddess in older traditions and religions, with the feminine aspect of Earth, with Gaia. And the moon is conjunct these places today, and, and joins these places today, and so can we. This is a great day to be in nature, to go outside, to meditate, to really give thanks for the abundance that we are receiving in our life. The conjunction to Sirius is going to be exact at around 1700 hours Central European time, that's about 1000 hours Eastern Standard Time, and then the conjunction to Neptune is about 2300 hours Central European time, it's about 1700 hours Eastern Standard Time. You remember that we've been talking a lot about the Sun, square Mars, and that's a time that we should be careful from accident, impulsivity, and aggression, and any unconsidered actions. And today the Moon is conjunct the Sun because it's a new Moon, so it gives power and amplifies that all axis. So really today be careful from all of the above. If you have been giving, like I've suggested, TLC to people in your relationships who are close to you in the previous days, then today you might get the dividends for that because Venus is trining uh, Jupiter and that's a time that we feel comfortable within our relationship, that we feel enjoyable with the love around us, that there's something very pleasant in our relationship that comes forward. Mars is trining Chiron in the sky it's a great time to solve those difficult uh, subjects in your life and, uh, and uh, within yourself and within your surroundings and really deal with the weaker points in the chain and strengthen them and triumph over them. So, thank you for listening and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.